So I had been using ChatGPT for more than a year now. I've used it for many projects from report development, content writing, copywriting, and search engine optimization. It also helped me reduce time for daily tasks such as writing emails, replying to important emails, and understanding complex subjects. Following the rise of ChatGPT, many large language models like Microsoft Copilot, Claude, Google Gemini, Meta, and Perplexity got developed. Of all the available models that I have tried so far, the one that caught my attention and earned most respect was none other than Perplexity AI. In this video, I will conduct a detailed comparison between Perplexity AI and ChatGPT4. I will also share the strengths of each of these models and we'll conclude the video with the reason why I switched from ChatGPT4 to Perplexity AI. Let's get started. If you want to use AI for researching a topic and you are extremely concerned about the authenticity of the research, then you better use Perplexity instead of ChatGPT. Let's give you an example. Let's say we have to research on T-Rex dinosaur and the authenticity of the fossil evidence for the existence of dinosaurs. Say we come up with the prompt like, Well, it's a pretty generic prompt. Hey, Chad, can you take the role of a seasoned fossil expert and share details about the T-Rex? So ChatGPT starts giving you answers about T-Rex, which was a type of carnivorous dinosaur. So it says physical characteristics, 13 feet, 40 feet. It gave you the size. It gave you details about the weight, 9 to 14 tons. It gives you details about skull, behavior hunting, food discovery, significance. So the list keeps on going on, okay? So my question as a researcher over here is, what are the sources which ChatGPT utilized to come up with this data? Let's say it mentioned something like the first T-Rex fossil was discovered in 1902 by the famous paleontologist Barnum Brown in Montana. So where did you get this data from? We, we've got no source. All right, so as a researcher, I'm really, really concerned about if this information is authentic, genuine, or not. In fact, ChatGPT itself confesses that ChatGPT can mistakes, check important info. Okay, so where do I check this info from? I have to go back to the old school research methods like Google search. So what's the point of using AI if I have to go search Google all over again? Let's say if we copy this same prompt, and if I start using it, perplexity AI. So it's a pretty generic prompt. I'm gonna use something like, hey, we're gonna remove chat from here. Hey, can you take the role of a seasoned fossil expert and share details about T-Rex? So let's see what we are gonna get from this AI tool for the exact same prompt. So pro search, look up detailed information about T-Rex, finding insights or recent discoveries to T-Rex fossil fuel. Wow, it shared some images with you as well. So that's where the, that's where the competitive edge of perplexity comes in. It shares with you all the list of resources it has used to fetch the data presented to you. We've got seven more sources, lifescience.com, discoverings.com, encyclopedia.com, Rhinosaurus Rex is the name, overview of T-Rex, size and weight, physical characteristics, and all of these are backed up with the research. You can just click this link and go and check out the research if that's authentic or not. Skull and teeth, pretty much the information is same uh, as the one shared by ChatGPT, but you've got all the references over here to back up this information behavior and ecology, sensory abilities, fossil discoveries, and each and every reference has been cited inside these passages. So that's where Perplexity AI comes in. It's a wonderful tool to do research. You can use some custom GPTs with chat GPT as well, like consensus for academic research, but it's nowhere near as, I would say, user-friendly as Perplexity. So if you are into someone who wants to use these AI tools for research and want to check if the research is genuine or not, you got to switch to Perplexity AI. Secondly, 
just because perplexity is good for research doesn't mean chat gpt is of no use you can still use chat gpt you go into the explore gpt's tab here you've got these different custom GPTs, you, which can help you with the range of different tasks. You can create your own GPTs. I'm going to share a link of this video as well. You can use it uh, as a code tutor. You can use it for marketing research. You've got these list of uh, different custom programs that you can use using your custom GPTs. So all of these different agents, you can use these within the chat GPT and get, get the outcomes for any of your requirements. So as a researcher, these are the two reasons why I prefer perplexity to research any topic. You got to give this AI tool a try and let me know in the comment section what you think about the kind of results you've got from perplexity AI. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.